Hello fellow YouTubers. Uh, today we're going to go over provisioning a VVX 411 or a 401 um, from Polycom on a Skype for Business server. Um, the server that I'm going to be provisioning to is on-premise but it will work with Skype for Business um, in the cloud as well. So um, to begin with um, I would say that the 411 does have gigabit Ethernet ports which most of you probably would want the 401 does have um, 100 megabit they both work similar but um, one thing that you do need to do is on the back of the phone um, in this case I've got power over Ethernet so the um, uh, the Ethernet cable coming from my switch is uh, power PoE and plugs into the um, computer or the um, the phone on the left port, Ethernet port, and then the right is a jumper that plugs into my laptop or computer, whatever you're going to be using. Um, we need this for uh, BTOE to work, which is better together over Ethernet from Polycom. So um, that's how I have it set up right now. And the, the laptop that I have is just a pass through. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is to go into the menu and look at settings and look at status network tcp ip parameters and you're going to want to get the ip address of your phone so this one's uh, 10.170.24.160 and we're going to jump over to the desktop so as you can see over the desktop i went ahead and logged in um, let me go ahead and log out and show you what that looks like um, you're going to go to https by default http is not enabled so go to HTTPS, your IP address that we just pulled up from the phone, and then log in with the password. The default is 456. If you've dealt with any other Polycom phones, it's always 456. Um, and then the first thing that you're going to want to do is go into Utilities and go to the Software Upgrade. Um, click Check for Updates, and then when you do that, you're going to get a list of software updates, and then um, on this one, I've already updated to 5.6, but um, that's what you're going to want to do. Okay, so after that, uh, you're going to want to jump over to support.polycom.com, which is going to take you to this interface here, this web page. And then from the left-hand side, you're going to select um, uh, documents and downloads by product type, and then select voice. And then in the drop-down here, you're going to go down to the VVX 401 or whatever phone you have and then click go and then near the bottom you're going to see a couple of downloads for uh, better together over ethernet which is btoe um, i'm downloading 3.5 which i've already downloaded and technically i've already installed but um, just open up the zip file um, extract the btoe connector 3.5 download it to your desktop and then um, i wouldn't install it yet um, you can but install it after the phone has done its updates and it's ready to provision. So after we've done the updates, so at this case we're at 5.6, you're going to want to go to simple setup and then under base profile you're going to want to change this from generic to Skype for business and then click save. And then the phone's going to automatically reboot and then after it's rebooted now we're going to go through this in a little bit. Um, after the phone is rebooted, um, it's going to come up and it's going to try to automatically pair uh, BTOE with the phone. Um, now, you're not going to be able to get into the web interface because by default, it disables the web interface right after it's done um, the switch over from generic to Skype for Business. And I'm going to show you that as soon as the phone comes back up. You can see here the phone is is rebooting. I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing off. This nice little screen protector they've got going on here. Now you might notice also that um, from a full reboot, you might lose internet um, connection on your pass-through computer temporarily. 
but it's it's fairly quick and it picks it up. I'm going to fumble through this here, but I think it's uh, if you click home and then go under settings, advanced, and then put in the password here of uh, 456, um, enter that, and then um, administrator settings, and I think it's under, oh, wasn't already paired successfully, but um, you go down to web server configuration, then change this to enabled, and then web server, um, uh, web config mode, you want to change that to HTTPS only. That would allow you to get back into the web interface. By default, like I said, um, it is not enabled. So I'm um, going to hit uh, back and then save configs and that's going to reboot the phone again and then once it comes back up again You should see that the uh, BTOE connector right here it says not paired, but it will become paired. Um, in this case, I, let's see, I clicked uh, pair with phone. I'm going to go back over to the phone. I thought this was set to automatic, but I could be wrong. So going back here, we're going to go to um, home. Um, settings and then under I think it's features and then a BTOE pairing um, we can change this to manual mode and then this should give us a code and then back on the computer we'll put this code in to pair it this is 373 Five five three, and it should discover the phone and paired with it. You shouldn't normally have to do that. It should work with auto, um, and it was working earlier. I just don't know why it didn't work that time. Maybe after reboot, it would have worked. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put my password in. Um, this is the uh, the password to your Skype for Business server. My UPN is my email address, and then my username. Um, can be my email address as well, but um, I just use my domain name and my username and then the password. Let me click OK. And then it will go through and synchronize the phone. And then it says that it's signed in successfully. And then click Done or Next. And then um, this is where you can set additional options. Um, you're going to see in the upper hand corner there's going to be a little caution symbol. Um, more than likely there's two reasons for that. One is uh, that it's not configured with the Exchange server or that um, you're still using the default password. So if you go back to the Home button and then click Settings um, and then click Status, uh, Diagnostics, um, Warnings. Um, you'll see here, in this case, it's uh, the default admin password. I did not click that. Um, go back in there. Settings, uh, status, diagnostics, um, warnings. And then you can click clear icon. And then it'll be gone in this session. If you reboot the phone, it'll come back again. But um, you can get rid of it permanently if you do change the uh, the default password from 456 to something else, uh, which you probably do want to do. Um, also, going to be provisioning this from a Skype for Business server. I think there's a way that you can you can reset that as well. But um, that should be it. That should get you um, all of your um, uh, 
details from your Skype for Business server. In this case, here is like I got a, um, a meeting for today, um, and uh, it tells me my meetings and everything. Go back home, and then here's the people that I can communicate with. Um, oops, and I can just click their um, uh, their quick key to go ahead and call them directly. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please post any questions or comments below. Thank you very much.